Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting installment of our tutorials on how to use Selectus. My name is Michael Kasman, and today I'll be showing you how to post a load on Selectus. Here we are in the main manage posted orders page. Okay, so now we will go to post a load. So you go down here, you click post new order. Okay, now here we are to the menu for the posted loads. You come down here. Typically, you know, you have all the different ones you want to do, LTLs, expedited. Typically, most of them that we do is expedited loads, hot shot. Another one that's seldom used that's nice that you could use is a lane project RFQ, request for quote. And this one's nice to say if you have a company call up and you're looking for bids, then you can put that out there for quotes, and then a lot of the carriers out there will quote you on that, and it'll give you a nice um, ballpark bid to go off of. Reference numbers, this all is kind of based on, you know, company by company. I'm sure your company will have some form of system that they'd like to use. Just as a default, just to, you know, show you, we'll use today's date, the 24th of June. So we go to 624.14. The amount section is where you can put the highest amount of money that you're willing to pay for a particular load. Not a lot of people use it, but you will see it every once in a while. Pickup city, you want to pick up in Detroit. pick up at noon and say we want to go to Chicago go down to Illinois it just needs to be there by 10 o'clock tonight so then also what you can do instead of having to put times in you just put the dates which you can put as ASAP for there or direct delivery down there and like we saw on the bid board instead of the times it'll just say ASAP and it'll say direct delivery some just some will have a time and some will just say direct delivery pieces this is how many you know right here how many skids tubes totes boxes so we'll say we've got five skids at a thousand pounds a piece so we have five thousand pounds and they're 48 by 48 by 48 Stackable, dock level, hazardous. This is all, you know, case by case. We're not really sure. It's all up to you. Truck size, we'll say for that, we'll say we need a small straight. And this is when it expires. This kind of this always defaults about an hour and a half ahead of time. The notes, we could say, you know, you could put on here pick up Tuesday, deliver by 10 p.m. same day. Then right here, allow carriers to view, small carriers to view the load. Then this just says, you know, hey, do we have small carriers? Small carriers, you know, they have less vehicles. A smaller fleet could only be, you know, a few trucks. And then this just allows them to see the load or not. If you just like big companies to see the load compared to smaller carriers, then you can do no or yes. It's up to you. You go down here, click continue. Okay, now after you click continue, you have to pick, it'll automatically bring up if you put in the correct city. It'll bring up all the zip codes for that area. And depending on your address that you have for your shipper and for your consignee, just all depends. So just default, we'll go there. Then Chicago obviously has quite a few. We'll just pick the first one. Then we go down again, click continue. Okay, now here is the last screen. It just has everything updated. Put your zip codes in. Then now what you would do, if we were actually really posting this, you'd go down here, you click Save Order, and that does post the load on the bid board. And then once you do that, whatever email address you have associated with, you'll start getting bids in from the carriers. And that is everything. I really appreciate everyone taking the time to view this. This was a tutorial on how to post a load online on Selectus. If you like what you saw and want to find out more about us, visit our website and follow us on social media.